team live coverage tonight around the Bay Area and in Minneapolis. In the Bay, uh, businesses, they were ready for just about anything. You can see boarded up windows, extra police were uh, all over the place in San Francisco and Walnut Creek and San Jose, among other spots. In Minneapolis, people were flooding onto the streets to celebrate the verdict with tears of joy. But we begin with Cron 4's Dan Kerman. He's live in Oakland where he watched today's verdict announcement with a prominent Bay Area civil rights attorney. Dan, what was his reaction? Well, he's both a relieved and pleased. He's seen a lot of these police misconduct cases go in the opposite direction. He hopes that this is symbolic, that change is coming. The guilty was verdict agreed to this 20th day of April. Whoa. All three. Bay Area civil rights attorney John Burris reacting live to a Minnesota jury finding former police officer Derek Chauvin guilty of murder in the death of George Floyd. I'm very pleased that it did happen and that, uh, and I'm relieved uh, and, and really uh, psychologically and emotionally because I think that to do otherwise would have been devastating to the African American community and to, and to all people of goodwill, regardless of the ethnic background. Burris says history dating back to 1991's Los Angeles police beating of Rodney King has shown a lack of accountability, but he hopes this verdict is an indication that times and beliefs are changing. I also hope that it represents a sea change in the general population's perception of claims of police brutality on the part of the police against African Americans, that these are in fact legitimate claims that are being made, and for the African Americans to feel like true citizens and respected by the police, uh, and the community at large, the officers must be held to answer when they engage in outrageous conduct. Burris says it's now important for prosecutors in counties where police misconduct happens to prosecute these cases so there's accountability on the part of officers. This is a wonderful uh, uh, display that what can happen if you present the evidence in a professional way and you get good people, cross-section of jurors who are willing to listen, uh, justice can be served. Symbolic, again, of what can happen, not necessarily of what will happen. He says that remains to be seen, and in the meantime, communities must keep the pressure on. Live in Oakland, Dan Kerman, Cron 4 News.